Walmart uh, just cross, crossing uh, the wires and uh, crossing the tape. We'll take a quick look at uh, initially uh, how the stock uh, is uh, is responding. A dollar twenty nine versus a dollar twenty two, uh, and immediately up five percent. Wow. Courtney Reagan, who was here, the adjusted earnings were uh, quite a bit, as you can see, above expectations. And most major metrics uh, were. It beat expectations by seven cents a share. Yeah, right? that's right. So it looks like a dollar twenty-nine adjusted here, and that beat analyst forecast of one twenty-two. Revenues also stronger than expected, one hundred and twenty-eight billion dollars. Walmart's also raising its full-year guidance for earnings to a range of four ninety to five oh five. That's X items, and also above the streets. 481 consensus revenue U.S. comps. Those are guided higher too. The real standout here, though, look at U.S. comps up four and a half percent. Consensus was 2.4 percent. So this is the best reading in 10 years. U.S. comp sales guidance for the year up three percent from at least two percent. Grocery, the best comp here for this quarter wow. in nine years. You, Walmart's U.S. e-commerce sales grew at 40 percent. You can see here on this chart that's the strongest in about three quarters. And I spoke to Walmart CFO Brett Biggs, who said it's really a combination of the customer really responding to the unique ways that we're serving them and a really good environment with both a strong consumer economic backdrop and improved weather in May from April. Walmart raised its full-year U.S. comps forecast, as we mentioned, to 3% from 2%. And Biggs said year-to-date, U.S. comps are up about 3.3%. The forecast is for 3 and that's due to some higher comparisons that are expected in the back half, including comping that stronger spending from the hurricane last year that happened in the third quarter. Gross margin, though, is down about 17 basis points, which Biggs says is in part due to a combination of the decision to lower some prices and also higher transportation costs. So a pretty good report here. I mean, that U.S. comp, 4.5%. At me, that, that, yeah. yeah catches me completely by surprise. They say that by year end, they expect that they will be able to have grocery delivery to 40 percent of the U.S. Population. Yeah, so that's a goal that, that, that they really that's, snuck up on. Me. Yeah, that's a goal that they had stated previously that um, they were working on this on this grocery delivery. And that was sort of an expansion of those initial pilots to use the third party delivery drivers, the lifts of the world to get groceries to U.S. consumers. So now they're saying, you know, they had said this before, uh, but this is good news that they're on track. Yeah. And so now they have pick up in more than 1800 locations. Um, but delivery for 40 percent of the country. And there is a fee associated with that, a minimum purchase. But What's still. the uh, consensus estimate for yearly revenues? Is it is it a half a trillion? This? For yearly revenues. Gosh, what, what you're going to throw me. I got no, no, speakers. you don't need to. Don't know. I'm just saying, is it, if you go head. four times 128, what's, right. what's and then, it coming out And then the fourth quarter is always going to be much bigger, right? right? So it's going to be, I'm just thinking, would I rather have a half a trillion in revenue or a or a trillion dollar market cap, which five hundred fourteen, five hundred fourteen, five hundred fourteen billion. I think I'd rather have the revenues. I think I would too. Just depends well, on what, I how think you. I'd rather, I think I'd the rather margins the, are slim. the margins, particularly when you talk about grocery right. business, not necessarily great. Right. I'd like either. And Asia online, thin. Right. I'd like either. I know they are. I, but I'd like either. That's you know, still. And, and Walmart's working on their cost management. They're known for that, right? Yeah. But you know, margins are going to be an issue as e-commerce grows, as it would with any company. But in terms right? of wow, so strong, strong, strong numbers all the way across the board. Oh, in, in terms of wow percent. number, in terms of wow numbers where the response that you get. I mean, a trillion dollar market cap's a lot, but what if it's a... a revenue's not going to go away. 20 times earnings. And, and revenue is, to is, sell is a half an actual a trillion. number that's a real market in the books. Market cap is the market's opinion of exactly. you at any given moment. To move but, that much stuff. But I think I'd take either one of them.